Hey, hey, Aries, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your January 2022 love reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. Today we're going to dive into the collective energy of Aries and take a look at all things love starting off the new year. So again, welcome if you are interested in signing up for a personal reading or even entering into that free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. So we are going to dive right in here for you, Aries. We're going to take a look at the Romance Angels before we get into your Celtic Cross. And the first card out we have, it is safe for you to love. Okay, uh, it talks about opening up your heart. So a lot of you are finally coming to a place here. Uh, where you are opening yourself up again. And as I say that, uh, the separation card did show up. Uh, it says the time apart from your partner uh, in the, is on the horizon. I'm getting the energy of that being in the past uh, or you're currently separated. You've done healing. You've done mending on yourself here. But it's saying that it's okay for you to open back up to love after maybe some sort of heartbreak or situation here. Uh, we're going to go with the main ones that came out for past, present, and future here. But they are saying that these ones are important as well. So we are going to take a look at these. Uh, we have trust. So trust issues may have come into effect. And that may have been why the situation in the past led to some sort of a separation here. Uh, it says this could be the one showing up here. So I feel like... There was a very strong connection between you and another person. So Aries, I will clarify here, uh, whether you are single, if you are separated, or if you are in a relationship, we'll talk about them all here. But it says, give your relationship a chance. Some of you may be wanting to give somebody a second chance, or you did in the past here. Uh, because I feel like uh, there was, there was a separation needed to almost make you both realize either that you didn't did want to be together, distance makes the heart grow fonder, uh, or that you could live without this person here. But I feel like you did give somebody a second chance here. And uh, we do have past life relationship. So a lot of you do have a past life connection with somebody showing up here. So in the present moment, it is safe for you to love. It's saying that you're wanting to give something a new try or opening your heart up here to this new beginning. Uh, we do have, this could be the one, and we do have attraction showing up for you. So for those of you that are in a relationship currently, you know that this is your person. I feel like there's a strong sexual, physical, emotional connection between you and another person here. And for those of you that are single, I feel like you are feeling attractive at this time. It says you attract romantic joy by enjoying this moment fully. So what that means here, Aries, is you are finally ready to open up. You know that it's okay to love uh, after a time of, again, feeling like you needed to work on yourself or feeling like nobody else out there would understand you, like maybe a past person did. But you're feeling uh, a new sense of energy, especially as we shift into this new year here, or we go into the new year, you're feeling a lot better about things uh, regarding love, which is great. I like to see this for you. Uh, this could be the one. So it says you've already met the romantic partner you seek. Uh, even though we're doing the present moment, I feel like this may come up anytime in January for you. And it could come through friends, okay? I feel like this could come from a friends group because we do have let your friends help you uh, ask for and accept support from others. So this could be somebody here from the past that you were friends with. Uh, this may be somebody from your friends group or uh, somebody that may have been in a relationship or separated at that time. I feel like the timing was off here for you and another person. We do have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your upbringing or your spiritual path. So what I'm getting from this uh, as well is there, again, this is more of a background, a back history here. It can certainly be religious beliefs or uh, different beliefs in situations, but I'm getting for a lot of you, somebody else had a different um, background. For example, maybe they were going through a separation while you were uh, single, or maybe uh, ju it just didn't work out because you weren't sure if you could trust this person here because they were still connected to a past person. So I feel like I feel like with the let your friends help you, uh, this is about you 
opening up, expanding, and meeting new people with friends. So I'm curious to see what your Celtic cross shows up for you here. We're going to dive right into this energy with the Celtic cross because I feel like you may already know this person or there may be a strong attraction between uh, somebody in a friend group and maybe at that time they weren't available but I feel like there may be a coming together. Let's take a look here Aries for you and see what is the heart of the matter. Choose your battles. Okay, seven of wands energy. So the heart of the matter here is being at your personal best, going the distance, non-conforming, living life on uh, your terms. And I feel like you are having the upper hand in a situation. And it makes sense, especially if there is pain that you are still overcoming from a past separation or a past person here. Or if you are currently in a relationship, it's saying that you may finally want to let down your guard, not point fingers, um, not accuse, not feel like you need to defend your heart at every second here or every turn. Aries is very important for you. So it's saying choose your battles. Do you want to open up to love? Do you want to uh, let and accept this person into your life here? Choosing your battles is going to be very important for you here because uh, the seven of wands, when this shows up, it says that there is an amends, making amends, accepting what cannot be changed and working on what can here. And I feel like I feel like for a lot of you, there was a wall up, uh, whether, again, you're single or whether you are with somebody, due to trust, there may have been a wall that, that was put up here. But I feel like you are ready to open up. It's safe for you to love because somebody is shifting their energy, whether this is you, if you're in a relationship, or this is your partner here, or you are finally ready to accept love into your life. We're going to take a look and clarify what this means. Spirit, which one here? Thank you. Let's take a look and clarify the Seven of Wands showing up for you. Okay, yeah. Uh, so we have the Four of Swords. Four of Swords is about you recovering. Uh, it's about a time of rest, healing, self-love, renewal, rejuvenation after something that really was shaky for you in a situation. King of Cups is somebody opening up uh, to love. The King of Cups is someone who's very supportive, emotionally evolved, honest. And I feel like this is that new energy you are stepping into. So whether it's with the same person from the past or if it's somebody new, the King of Cups is emotionally evolved. Somebody's done a lot of growing here. This can be you as well, Aries, whether you're female or male, it doesn't matter. But this is saying, choose your battles here with the Seven of Wands. Is saying, choose to emotionally evolve instead of react to situations. Instead of immediately putting up your defenses, your guard here. Right behind it, we have the Four of Cups, which is great. It's showing up in reverse because you feel like you missed out on an opportunity for love in the past. But I feel like now there's a new opportunity coming your way. Oh, yes, there it is. A beautiful new beginning. Ace of Cups. This is gorgeous for you here, Aries, because the Ace of Cups is all about a new opportunity and love. You're ready to open your heart. You've worked on the self-love. You are still in the self-love energy here um, because your heart was blocked. Your heart was closed here. But this is about emotional satisfaction. You've been doing the work. You've emotionally evolved. And now there's a new opportunity coming your way. I love this. Let's take a look at the complication or the challenge and let's see how we can help you navigate through any challenges showing up for you. I have a feeling it may have to do with, you know, letting your guard down a little bit, um, trusting your intuition and not letting the past come in and define you. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Clarity of belief. Ace of swords. Two aces already showing up. A lot of new beginning energy here. Uh, but this is saying... Yes, just as I was talking uh, about the past, not letting those beliefs come in and hold you uh, back from true love here. This is saying there's clarity. There's a major conversation here between you and another person. It shows up as your challenge here. So I feel like the challenge is actually your own beliefs. Uh, when the Ace of Swords shows up in the upright, it's about a new understanding and clarity. It's about new communication. It's about cutting through any of the barriers. And I really do feel like, I mean, this certainly can be a conversation that you have with another person. But uh, what Spirit is telling me that this is your own beliefs regarding love. Maybe you thought in the past here areas that love was just unattainable uh, like you weren't able to make something work or uh, the separation really did you 
somebody brought you to your knees here. Uh, you felt like somebody was the one or maybe they're showing up as the one here and you may have a hard time believing in something. And it says, again, clarity of belief. So I feel like there will be a lot more clarity and you will be shifting your perspective. So I'm curious, maybe the hangman will show up for you here. We're going to dive in and clarify. Uh, but what this is saying here regarding your challenge Aries is it's all about making sure you wrap up any confusion if there is a situation or a question uh, don't let your guard go up but work through it communicate don't assume and don't expect uh, but to talk communication is going to be very important for you but let's clarify this ace of swords energy death rebirth transformation yes this is, this is kind of that energy of the hanged man in a way, uh, but the death card showing up is beautiful because it says there's a time of an ending here, uh, letting go and letting God, and you've outgrown this cycle, whatever cycle that you were in in the past, again, it was some sort of belief, uh, it was some sort of relationship, it was some sort of pattern that you may have found that repeated itself over and over here. And the death card is saying here, don't resist this change coming in because love is coming your way. There's again, a cycle that's outgrown or a, it could be a karmic cycle, especially with the past life relationship here for you, Aries. But this is beautiful because this is a rebirth showing up for you. This is a new chapter in your life. And uh, because of the limiting beliefs that you have regarding love, because you have been hurt here, it may be questionable whether something is true or not. But my advice for you here is to keep your heart open. Trust your intuition, but don't let the past pain hurt you uh, or stop that love from showing up for you. I really like this a lot. And I'm sending you a lot of love out here, Aries, because we've all been through those challenging times in relationships. And I feel like this is the real deal, or uh, this could be the one showing up for you, whether you're in a relationship currently and you're wanting to give somebody a chance, but aren't sure you can trust them. I feel like somebody whether you or both of you or together are emotionally evolving together. If you are single, trust the fact that somebody comes in and uh, wants to love you, Aries. Let's take a look and see what's the heart of the matter, the foundation, balance, yes. The balance card, this is about uh, temperance. This is about blending the energies here. You can see here that they want balance in their life, but it, sh it did show up in reverse here. So the foundation is the back and forth energy or the inconsistency or the not willing to commit fully to a situation. I feel like this could have been your person here, or maybe you had to work through your own trauma, whether that was from past relationships, maybe uh, mother-father issues, or maybe your own childhood trauma about not... Uh, trusting or abandonment or rejection. But the balance card shows up here and it says, this is the foundation on which you are built. This is part of your life purpose here, Aries, is to find balance in these relationships. And you may have found that patterns, again, repeated themselves. Maybe it was the same person uh, that you've repeated a cycle, or maybe it was the same kind of people you kept attracting here, Aries. But the balance card is saying that you are rebalancing. You've emotionally evolved because of the pain that you've been through in the past here. And that now there is uh, a blend of energies, a compromise here. You've waited a while to find somebody that could bring balance to your life, especially during chaos. You want somebody to come in and kind of be the calm in the storm here and not be the, the person who brings the storm, but to have that balance, that equal give and take, that equal compromise. Let's take a look and clarify what this is for you. Knight of Cups, yeah, beautiful. Okay, so we have the Knight of Cups showing up here. Uh, when the Knight of Cups shows up, this is what you want. You don't want the Knight of Cups in reverse, and that's the energy of the imbalance here uh, showing up for you. So again, you may have had that back and forth. You want uh, the Knight of Cups this is somebody who is a classic romantic, somebody who you have a psychic bond or psychic connection with. This is somebody who is searching for love here, uh, wants to be romantic and romanticized, wants a proposal possibly, uh, wants to wear their heart on their sleeve and fall in love with the idea of love even. Uh, but it may have been a headache with the Five of Swords in reverse here. Uh, the Five of Swords is again, 
Should I stay? Should I go? It's knowing when to fight, knowing when to walk away. It's about choosing your battles and possibly having a lot of resentment when it comes to love here uh, because of inconsistencies showing up in the past. Let's take a look at the past here for you, Aries. What is what happened here in the past? All right. Ooh, we have darkest fears, nine of swords. Yeah. Exactly with that five energy that just showed up for you. You can see he's, it's like he's got a, a men mental headache here, a lot of mental anguish. You've been in your head about something here. Nine of swords showing up in the past is saying there was a lot of fear, a lot of anxiety, a lot of suffering, uh, a lot of love on your minds may have kept you up at night, sleepless nights regarding a situation. Maybe it was because Again, you were separated from somebody or there was a lack of trust, but you knew that you wanted to give somebody a chance after chance, but it left you a lot of, again, mental anguish. And your darkest fears possibly were recognized in the past. And that's what you've been overcoming. That's what I said in the beginning here. There's a new clarity of belief here. So the beliefs that you had regarding love were negative, I will say here, Aries, because of how you were treated. Uh, but I feel like there's a big shift coming in for you. Let's clarify this Nine of Swords energy. I feel like you shut down some sort of communication. You gave somebody chance after chance and then either they shut you down or you shut them down. And it did cause a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, a lot of worry. All right, what do we have here? Queen of Pentacles showing up. Queen of Pentacles is somebody who wants to work on their stability. They're very successful and abundant. Uh, this can be even a working parent. Uh, but I feel like you were trying to do your thing here. You wanted to be the best version of yourself. But at the same time, there was almost like a front being put on here, Aries. You may have shown the rest of the world, I'm good, I'm independent, I'm a, I could be a single parent here. This can be about you working on your finances, your stability, your home. Uh, you may have been you know, the cook, the cleaner. You know, You brought a lot to the table here in a relationship. And I feel like... There was a lot of stress that you had to put on some sort of a front or somebody didn't accept all that you had to offer here with the Queen of Pentacles. Let's get one more card to clarify the past before we dive into all the good stuff with the future. Temperance. Yeah, temperance. You've been waiting a while. For those of you that are single, I feel like you've been single for a while and it's been uh, a little bit stressful trying to call in a soulmate because we have the temperance showing up again for you. This is that card of balance here. Uh, these two cards are the same. And this is saying that, again, you've waited a while to allow love to come in or to bring that balance to your life here. Let's take a look. I feel some of you... Uh, I feel like some of you are single at this time or at least you felt single in a relationship but there's a new beginning or new love coming in for you here let's take a look and see what is the potential showing up for you your love life january 2022 what is the potential for aries opportunity beckons there's that four of uh, four of cups that showed up earlier. In the past, you felt like you've missed out on opportunities, but the opportunity is coming back around. I love this for you. It's extra clarification here that there's a new opportunity on the horizon. Will you take it? Will you accept it here? We'll find out, uh, but this is beautiful because it's saying that you're, I feel like you're opening up, but let's clarify. You are opening up to engaging in the idea of love. I feel like you are... Starting off as friends, this person coming in here is a friend, or even if they are uh, a lover that you're currently with, it's about rebuilding a solid foundation based on friendship that leads into uh, trust and stability and love and partnership here. All right. Woo. Got a lot flew out there. All right. We have the King of Cups showing up again for you. Oh, I love this. We have the King of Cups. All right. King of Cups, since it's in the potential here, I'm going to read them in the upright. Uh, King of Cups is that emotional evolvement. So this is either your energy, your partner's energy, or the new person. I feel like it's the new person coming in. Somebody that 
isn't going to play games with your heart. Somebody who wants to really step up to the plate and offer you their heart, offer you their cup of love here, Aries. This is someone who's supportive, emotionally intelligent, patient, wise. They don't want to bring drama to the table any longer. Uh, and if this person was at one point not in touch with their emotions, if they were cold, if they were untrustworthy, or if they brought a lot of drama in, I do feel like the potential here is a new beginning here that will be successful. Six of Wands, for those of you that have been following me, know that Six of Wands in the Minor Arcana is one of my favorite cards. It's about triumphant success uh, after a tower moment here. Uh, the Six of Wands is about accomplishment. It's being raised up, victory and success following, again, that difficult period. But because you're ready to open up to this new opportunity, what do you have? The Ten of Cups. This is absolutely beautiful here, Aries. Uh, emotionally evolved success and ten of cups you can't ask for a better combination but again this is the potential so the thing with potential is this is about if you want to manifest if you want to manifest what we just talked about here you certainly can because that's the potential but let's look and see what's actually coming in and again tarot isn't set in stone here uh you have free will you have choice so you can navigate your course. This is just a little guidance, a little helper for you. But let's take a look and see what the, is coming in in the near future. What is coming in in the near future? Oh, wow. Wow. Nine of Pentacles. Well deserved reward. Beautiful. Nine of Pentacles is saying that you will be able to, even if you are single, if you are single, there's a, 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 a reward coming in here. This is that love. This is that attraction. There's something well-deserved, well-earned because you put in the effort, you put in the work. Uh, if For those of you that are currently in a relationship, this is about you maintaining the independence within that relationship and it actually will help bring you together instead of uh, constantly feeling like there's a lack of trust or feeling like you maybe a little codependence here. This is saying that that is coming to an end. There's a new cycle and it's actually going to bring you both stronger together. For those again that are single, I feel like you won't be for, for much longer, but let's clarify this nine of pentacles. I love this for you. Nine of Pentacles is a beautiful card. Some people think that it is the singles card here, but I feel like it's about reaching goals, self-sufficiency. Uh, self You're celebrating here. You're independent. So again, beautiful. Second chances for some of you showing up here with a judgment card. Uh, but there is going to be, there's, it's almost the energy of, how do I explain that here? A, a change in the direction of your life. For example, when you meet somebody or you decide to commit to somebody, it does. It changes your whole life. Single versus being with somebody is completely different. And you are giving love a second chance is what I am sensing here. I love this. We're going to get one more. Knight of Pentacles. Yes. Somebody is coming in offering their cup of love for you, uh, but it's going to be slow and steady, but this time built on a solid, firm foundation. Wow. This is wonderful, Aries. This is somebody who's trustworthy, somebody who's loyal, somebody who's committed to you here. I love it. Let's take a look and see what you're telling yourself. What are you telling yourself regarding love, Aries? And I do want to let you know, because Spirit is nudging me, uh, for those of you that um, you're starting to talk to somebody, it may become a friendship instead of, you know, immediately you are in a relationship with somebody. It's something that's slow building. You start, you meet somebody maybe through a friend group. Uh, maybe you go out a week later or two weeks later, you get their number. And then, you know, another week later they call. So it could be a slow process for you, but something that's exciting and it needs to be, it needs to happen in this way, Aries. Uh, it needs to help you kind of come out of that shell that you've possibly been in here that you felt uh, a little bit detached here with the uh, with the detached card showing up. Uh, this is about justice. It's about equality and fairness. It's about weighing up your actions here. Uh, some of you, this is about stepping out and really focusing on your inner self. You've been detached maybe from public or maybe from the, the dating world or maybe from a spouse or a partner that you're currently in here and you felt like you were on the outside kind of looking in. Let's clarify this energy here for you. I feel like uh, 
feel like a little bit of hermit energy with that as well. Yeah, because the Queen of Wands is showing up here. Uh, you haven't possibly quite felt your usual, usual social self here. Uh, you felt the Queen of Wands, when she's feeling on her A-game, she's independent, she's social, she's fiery, she's attractive, she's bold. Uh, but I feel like you may have felt maybe even a little bit insecure, maybe even jealous of other relationships here. But this is saying that you're coming again out of that shell. You're gaining your sense of... Uh, security back here you're finally feeling attractive again because you have attraction showing up you're working on yourself and i feel like you're stepping out into the world again after a time of being shut down uh shut down emotionally shut down physically whatever that is for you here let's get one more card on what you are telling yourself at the moment okay yeah knight of wands energy showing up this is that passion that excitement that adventure that you haven't felt for a while you're finally opening up to here Knight of Wands is uh, that in and out, possibly immature energy, that player energy here showing up for you. And you had to detach or disconnect to that. And you're saying, you know what? No, I had a choice to make and it's not that. I want commitment. I want stability. So let's take a look at the external influences. Whoa, that one just shot right across here. The external influences. This is your outer world chariot energy here. This is that card of movement, confidence, triumphant success here. So there will be movement regarding love. Yes, it's going to be slow, but it's going to be steady and it's going to be honest and it's going to be trustworthy here. But there is finally movement after a time of a pause or a delay or a waiting here. So I love this showing up for you because it talks about success. You have two major arcana showing up right away there. Uh, there it is, the sun. Wow. Wow. The sun, if you felt a little bit blue or under the weather in the recent past here, you're going to finally see movement. Uh, if you, Some of you may have felt um, depressed, maybe even full of anxiety or worry, or maybe you were sick as well in the past. And I feel like the sun card showing up is a beautiful blessing here. It's about abundance, vitality, good health. It's about enjoying life and sharing it with others sharing it with somebody that you love here. It's also about public recognition. So other people are noticing you at this time because you're finally stepping out of that shell. You've done the healing, you've done the work. And somebody, I feel like they're it's very interesting. I don't know if uh, somebody is going to physically do this, but they're showing me somebody's finger, uh, almost giving you like a come here, but it's, it's kind of it's kind of sexy. It's kind of attractive, like a Khmer Aries. Uh, I don't know if somebody just did that to you or if um, if that is maybe something that's coming in when you meet this person. Uh, you don't see that too often, but I feel like it's good. It's, it's about stepping out. It's almost like somebody coaxes you out of that shell. Let's take a look and see what are your hopes and fears, Aries? What are your hopes and what are your fears? Okay, they're giving me the name, I, I feel like it's a name, Bell, B-E-L-L. -L. If that is a last name, uh, or maybe there's bells, maybe you, church bells going off when you meet this person, or I mean, it could be wedding bells, maybe you have a wedding in January and you'll be meeting somebody, please take it as it resonates, but they're giving me Bell, and I feel like it's a name, but it certainly can be, you know, a bell ringing as well. We have Seek. You have three major arcana showing up on this side. This is pretty crazy here. Uh, this is the card of the hermit. <coughs> Excuse me. This is about solitude. It's about soul searching. It's about gaining the wisdom and gaining the knowledge. So the hope here is that you that you can seek out that um, that soul searching. You've done the soul searching. You've worked on yourself. You've gained the wisdom. That is your hope here. The fear here is loneliness, rejection, feeling isolated or feeling foolish in a situation here. And it's a very legitimate fear based on the past. However, like I said here, clarity of belief. It's about you overcoming any of those beliefs from the past. Maybe they were abandonment or rejection, cheating, lying, stealing, whatever that is for you. You've gained the wisdom. You've gained the knowledge. Now it's time to move forward for you here. Aries, because somebody wants to come in and offer their cup of love. Let's take a look and clarify the hermit. You don't want to be in isolation or solitude anymore. Yeah, exactly. 
Three of Swords, there was heartbreak. You're afraid of getting your beautiful heart broken. And it's legitimate, right? It does happen. We all go through heartache. But it's something that you're overcoming here. And that is your hope, is to overcome any of the past situations so you don't bring them into this new energy here. So whether, again, you are single, and you've been burned in the past and you're afraid to open your heart up, somebody's emotionally evolved. I will tell you that coming in and it will be strong and powerful for you. For those of you that are currently with somebody right now and you may be questioning, do I give this person a second chance? I feel like you want to. I feel like there's still uh, lessons, still, uh, it can work. I mean, you do have free will, but I feel like there was a separation needed or required, whether you're currently going through it here or if you're wondering whether you should give your relationship a chance. That is completely up to you here. But the hope is that you can up overcome this heartache. And you certainly can here. I feel like you've done uh, the inner work with this hermit. And you, whatever was uh, causing the pain in the past caused you to really look inward and figure out what it is, who you were, what you wanted, and what kind of relationship you wanted in the future. Let's take a look at the final outcome, Aries. What is the final outcome for your love, January 2022? Oh my word. <laughs> Blossom. This is the judgment card. It's the card of a second chances. Again, a second chance at love. You're going to open yourself up and you're going to find that you will bloom. You will blossom here. This is beautiful. This is about a change in the life path because you did already get the judgment card showing up. Uh, again, four major arcanas. This is crazy. You have, well, five of them total here, but along your right side here. So you have major shifts, major transformations. January is going to be a very, very powerful month for you, Aries, regarding love. This Blossom card is saying that you're getting out of your shell. Uh, you've been, you know, when you think of a flower blossoming, uh, until it until it gets all the right surroundings and nutrients and sun and water and air, it kind of stays in that um, isolation. The hermit energy kind of stays scrunched up a little bit. But when the timing is right, it eventually opens up. And I feel like the timing is right here. You're blossoming and you're, you've come out a different person than you were here. So again, the challenge for you is believing that you are worthy, believing that this love is worth diving into. Even if it's slow, it's going to be slow, but yet steady. New opportunities. There's major change, shifts, transformation. This is a whole new direction in your life path here. Let's clarify, Aries, what this Blossom card is for you. Beautiful. This is your purpose, your calling. Okay, it's also about forgiveness and not judging yourself. And if you have those self-judgment beliefs or self-sabotaging beliefs, this is about you overcoming them. Spirit, please clarify. Oh my gosh. The King of Cups, whoever this person is, this is the only king. The only king that has shown up in your whole reading for you here is insanely powerful. This is it. Whoever this king of cups is for you is the one. Granted, we didn't have the emperor come up, but we had the king of cups come up three times. And this person is emotionally evolved and ready to give you their cup of love. I love this. Wow. Beautiful energy here. This is great. All right. So we are going to get a love message from the wisdom of the oracle here. I will read the relationship message from the guidebook for you. So Aries, let's take a look and see what we have for Aries. We have to the sea, to the sea. Beautiful. It's also uh, card seven, which is the chariot energy. And you did get the chariot energy showing up for you already. All right, so this is your message here, Aries. This is about being in the flow, returning to source, recognizing how pieces fit together. And the relationship message is this. There are points in a relationship when you have to decide to go with the flow rather than dictate the course you share with another. Can you let go of the need to have things your way and allow the relationship itself, your combined goals and desires to steer the ship? Can you both transcend your personalities and allow the partnership to form its own identity, its own energy? Now is the time to relax and see where this mutual journey leads. Holy moly, that just wrapped up uh, what we were talking about with that nine of pentacles. Remember how I said independent energy 
uh, is coming together, but it's actually going to flourish and blossom here. And it's about going with the flow, not letting any past pain or restrictions hold you back and seeing where this can go, because I see it can be quite beautiful for you here, Aries. Uh, but there will be transformation, there will be change, and there will be a need for communication here. So if you have questions, oh, be open to vulnerability here. Be open to love. Let's get a message from the soul truth for you. Let's see what you can ask yourself to help you open up to love at this time. <laughs> okay, this isn't really love. We're going to read it anyway. It's coming out for you. Where am I with my health goals? Where do I want to be? Why am I not there? And what will it take for me to feel well? Again, we did get that sun card showing up here. So that's about feeling good again, feeling on top of the world. Some of you are really shifting your energy and it may have to do with you getting back in shape, whether it's eating better, maybe it's less you know, drinking, possibly um, meeting somebody at the gym. Maybe you uh, attract somebody through health. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Uh, so you're gonna share some sort of health goals with somebody coming into your life, which is quite beautiful for you. It says, if my body could talk, it would say blank. Today's soul action, Aries, is this. Feed your body what it needs to feel nourished, appreciated, and loved. Make some new exciting goals to take your health to the next level. Yes, absolutely. I feel like that's why this is showing up and I had to have a good chuckle here. Because you meet, may meet somebody through incorporating better goals you know, healthier goals within your life for you. If you've wanted to try something out or test something out, in January is the time of uh, goal setting here. So I feel like whatever this is for you, it doesn't just have to be the gym. Maybe you're taking a cooking class or maybe you are reading other people's vlogs or reaching out on, you know, YouTube, whatever this is here, you may attract somebody because you have the same desire to be healthy together here. So this is beautiful. All right. And lastly here, um, usually I pull, uh, well, no, we're, we're skipping ahead here, Aries. We're going to do the Spirit Animal Oracle. This is the exercise that you can do uh, if you would like to get entered into that free monthly reading giveaway. Uh, so I just ask, Aries, that you close your eyes for a moment, and I want you to tune into that third eye chakra. Now that is the chakra between your eyebrows. And I want you to think of the first animal or animals that show up in your mind's eye. Now this can be an animal that flies high in the sky. Maybe it's an animal that swims in the sea. Maybe they're wild or domesticated. Maybe you've just dreamt of them or seen them out in nature or perhaps it's your own animal at home. And just take a moment to Think of that power animal in your mind's eye. If you do need a moment, Aries, just feel free to pause the video. And uh, the messages for you, I will share. However, if you would like to be entered into that free monthly reading giveaway without clicking in the description box and the link, all you need to do is post your power animal in the box below, in the comment box. I would love to hear what animal was on your mind. So you have Hummingbird Spirit, be here now. This is very important uh, message from Hummingbird here because it's saying enjoy the present moment. You tend to get in your head a lot here, Aries. You tend to overthink possibly a situation and it's about enjoying the present moment. If you are, let's say you're at the gym, really be in the present moment of working out. Uh, enjoy the surroundings, pay attention to your surroundings. If you are at uh, out at dinner with friends uh, or having drinks, it's about being in the present, enjoying the company of others. And if you are fully present, I feel like you will be more aware of the love that is coming in your way. This is new dates, date night. Uh, if you're in a relationship here, this is about really focusing on your partner and what they are saying to you instead of being maybe distracted by your phone or distracted by other people around you. This is about really being in the now. Next, we have starfish spirit, open to infinite possibility. This is beautiful because it's like the overall message here of opening yourself up to the possibility of love coming in. And I certainly see it with that ace of cups, 
This could be the one card. You have new opportunity. You have Ace of uh, Swords. You have all these beautiful cards saying your deepest, darkest fears have been faced in the past here. I feel like you've already had the hard hardest of hard showing up in the past. You've already been through and stomped to the ground regarding your heart. There's only one way up now here and it's opening yourself up because there are there's a beautiful love showing up here for you. We have Buffalo Spirit. The abundant universe will provide. Oh, yes, it will. What is it going to provide? Ooh, this King of Cups. Doesn't matter if you're female or male. If you are male and watching this, this can be, you know, feminine energy. But this is just representing that it. this is someone who is emotionally evolved. They're not going to play and tug on your heartstrings here. They're in it for the long haul. And lastly, we have Bobcat Spirit. Life is a mystery. Life is a mystery here. And I feel like with Bobcat, uh, whenever I get cat or feline at all, I think of that independence. Cats represent independence. And so it kind of goes with that Nine of Pentacles energy that you have showing up in the future. This is about not being codependent, especially if you've had that in the past. This is about enjoying your things, them enjoying theirs, and then also bringing that to the table and combining. This is that... This is the Ten of uh, ten of Pentacles energy where both people are stable and independent within their own. And then when they come together, they actually, it's the cherry to the top. It's the top, the icing, the, the good stuff here, bringing it together. I like this for you a lot here. And last but not least here, usually I pull from the crystals uh, bowl, but I have been guided to use this crystal spirit deck which i absolutely love the imagery it's a deck by colette baron reed for those of you that are interested in any of the decks i do use i did post what each and every one of them are in the description box and i will read the relationship message from the guidebook oh wow i love this oh you have two of them coming up you have kyanite kyanite that's a beautiful blue crystal here. I'm trying to see if I have any up here to show you. No. And we also have Lemurian Quartz. Lemurian Quartz. I'm, I'm getting a past life vibe and you did get past life in your... Uh, okay, thank you. Okay. All right. Please take this as it resonates. They were giving me Williams and then immediately I went to Robin. So uh, perhaps you... Either Williams means something to you, Robin means something to you, or maybe you just watched a Robin Williams movie, Aries. I'm not sure how that's going to resonate with you, as it won't for everyone. Please take it as it does. Uh, or Williams could be, you know, a last name or a first name. But we have Kyanite. So we're just going to dive in. Let me get the message here. This is about resolving disputes, diplomacy, restoring harmony, and mending fences and building uh, bridges here. So I like this for you. This is about you mending. You mending your heart and you going all in. Uh, the relationship message is this. You may be right and have the best idea in the room, but Kyanite Spirit is here to tell you in this moment, you are being called to be the bigger person, the diplomat seeking to connect on a level of mutual understanding. There was a reason you wanted to connect with this person or people, and now you have the power to do so in a healthy way that honors you and them. They will learn from your modeling of diplomacy. You might be surprised by how much more readily your wisdom is heard when you reach out in love before trying to sway someone with logic. Mend fences and then watch how much easier it is to harmonize with another. It's possible you've attracted a relationship where you are doing all the emotional work and the other person takes and sucks up all your energy. If so, Kyanite reminds you that you can always say no and end things if a balance can't be reached. If this is your choice, know that it is okay to free yourself from the conflict. Wow. So that's definitely uh, what we're talking about with the balance showing up here. Also the healthy form. If something is not healthy for you, you do have that free will choice like we talked of um, to end something. And that may be what's coming in for you here. Uh, but again, free will, free choice. I feel like whether that King of Cups is somebody else coming in for you, or it could be you emotionally evolving, but you're going to be happy regardless of what decision you make here that is best for you. You're making it for you, Aries, and there will be a positive, happy outcome. Let's see what Lemurian Quartz has to say before we wrap up your reading. This is about uh, the big picture, unlocking the secrets of infinite possibility. Whoa, you just had infinite possibility here with the starfish. Two separate decks. This is going to be a very important message for you. <clears throat> 
All right, let's take a look. And your relationship message, Aries, is this. Every relationship has its ups and downs, and it's inherent magic. But Lemurian court spirit is now calling you to step back and see the big picture of what you are experiencing. Is it what you envisioned? Do you need to see something new so that you feel a sense of contentment, purpose, and fulfillment? Can you awaken to your con connection to the universe that lies within you so that you may be shown something even better than you dream about? Your power to imagine what you can co-create is very strong now, and you are being urged to go big and wide with a vision that truly speaks to your soul's desires. Let the universe show you what is possible in your relationships that you have not been aware of before. There is a big picture you have not been seeing. Wow, this is definitely, and you can see they're actually telling me there's a key here at the top and the key is in it ready to be turned. So this is about you turning a new leaf. This is really amazing for you here, Lemurian Quartz. I feel like there will be decisions showing up here, but again, whatever this is for you here, Aries, it will leave you feeling really happy. Whatever decision you make, uh, you have free will, you have power, but you have emotionally evolved and you are blossoming into the version or relationship that you want. You are blossoming into a better version of it. That's what I have for you, Aries. I hope it resonates. If so, please feel free to hit that like, share, subscribe, and do comment your power animal below. I'd love to hear what it is, and I personally will enter you into that free monthly reading giveaway. And Aries, I am sending you all the love and light on your love journey, January 2022.